Hello team, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. We are checking out Singapore Armed Forces, the making of a naval diver. The guys have now passed out of basic military training and some of the chosen through are going on to do the naval divers course. A select few going through some really tough training so they're going to specialize in a really, really cool role. Hopefully you will enjoy this video, but if you want to check out the original video, you can check it out in the original in our description. Go and give him a like, share, and a follow. And if you could like, share, and subscribe to Combat Radio HQ, I would hugely appreciate it. And please comment below what you think of the video, what sort of videos you want to see next. I always appreciate your comments, your shares, and your likes, and your subscriptions. And to all of you who have just viewed. But let's get into it. They're a special breed of men. Highly trained and experts in their field of operations. From deep diving to underwater demolition and shipboarding. Getting the job done requires more than training. These combat divers are put through some of the most grueling drills to drum them up to be the best. They are the Singapore Navy's elite naval diving unit. Over the next few weeks, we'll see the highlights of their training that makes them men of metal. Men of metal. Naval diving operations require highly specialized training and it starts here at NDU at Sambawang Camp. Each year, a few are selected among thousands and put through some of the most intensive and strenuous physical and mental tests to see if they have what it takes to be part of this elite unit. So are these guys, within the UK, we've got divers within the Royal Engineers who go down and do specialist diving. That's whether that's sort of trying to find people trapped, welding and fixing things underwater, I believe. I've never been a diver. But they're like engineer divers. They're part of the Royal Engineers. And then you've got the Special Boat Service, which is obviously the UK Special Forces. And they specialise in maritime and diving and insert inserting through water whether that's on boats mibs or you know diving in is the singapore naval divers closer to the special boat service or are they more like engineer divers it'd be interested to know the 24-week combat diving course prepares them for this 24 weeks at the end of the training a few make it not so easy they really have to push up throughout 20 weeks they really have to keep up the fitness to complete the course just a few months ago these men from here yeah so i can see more stuff do more stuff there's the prestige and honor when you graduate as a naval diver yeah that's what a lot of people don't realize and i didn't realize until i started doing um a couple of these series of the singapore armed forces the majority of them are conscripts their national service so they basically get told you have to go and serve for a minimum of two years and apparently they get lower pay it's just an allowance um after that they can either carry on or they go back to normal civilian life um only actually a few within these videos that i've been watching are actually full-time regulars uh, the majority of them are conscripts and they're trying to and they're still choosing some of the elite forces they're not just trying to take the easy route for the two years and go to the easiest unit the easiest training they still want to be part of the best um and a lot of them have family members who have served so they want to do their family members proud as well to be a diver it means a sense of pride especially to my father but because he was on the navy and he didn't get as chief instructor at NDU, Second Warrant Officer Rajindran takes care of the men's training and their welfare and ensures these young men give their best. You need to do, you will not be walking around alone. Sorry, you won't be running around alone. There's no walking in this course. He and his team will push the men hard and test the limits of their physical and mental endurance. A high level of physical fitness is expected. Attaining a gold standard in the individual physical. Theory assessment 80% passing mark, one retest, 80% is quite high. Physical fitness assessment, six kilometer timed run, 29 minutes and below. Um, not too hard if that's sort of clean fatigue and just trainers and shorts 
Um, the majority of them should be able to do that. 2K time, sea swim, wetsuits, fins, mask, booties, knife. 58 minutes and below, I'd say for the majority of normal people, that would be pretty hard. For these guys, it shouldn't be too hard wanting to obviously be a naval diver, but I'd say that's a pretty hard sea swim. Sea circuit, wetsuit, fins, mask, booties, 20 minutes below. I bet that's pretty nails. And then the IPPT, Divers Gold Standard, um, whatever that is. But 6K run, if it's just sort of trainers and that, I wouldn't say that's too tough. Good proficiency test is a must. There is no room for silver or bronze awards. Uh, okay. You will train, we will train to ensure, we will be very sure that you all know the standards. Is it clear enough for you all? Yes, yes sir. sir. Are you all aware of what happened if you don't meet the standards? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. For now, the diver's symbol, the trident, is passed from the graduate to the new batch of trainees. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look at that. that I have what it takes. So not too much shown in this episode, uh, more of an insight of them to signing up and what they'll be going through. So I'm looking forward to watching future episodes to see what happens. I'm looking at it, I feel like they're more special boat service, Navy SEALs, than sort of British Royal Engineer divers. Um, but as the series goes on, we will find out and I'll do a little bit of research as well, um, just to sort of give myself more information so I get a little bit of understanding. Um, but please comment below with what you think from by the looks of it being called frogmen and the intense training they're going to go through i would say they're more closer to an elite special forces unit sbs navy seals dutch frogmen danish frogmen um and those sorts of units but we will see um but don't put it past them though because like that engineered divers is easy because it's not it's one of the hardest courses you can do in the british army so even though they're not classed the special forces go and check them out the royal engineer divers they get an insane amount of extra pay um on top of their normal pay and from what i've heard the pass rate is very very low and it's one of the toughest courses you can do that is not sort of well known like P Company or Special Forces. Um, so if you do want to do something pretty cool within the British Army, go and check out Royal Engineer Divers. Um, but thanks for watching. Like I said, not too much given away in this episode. We, we'll see you in the next episode and we'll see what the training's actually like and we can comment and review on that and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.